what's up everybody welcome back to another episode of gunfish tv i want to thank you for tuning in today go check out some of my other videos after you check this one out let me know what you think let me know what else you want to see on my channel and i'll do my best to accommodate whatever kind of fishing or whatever y'all want reviews different stuff whatever i'm open to anything so what i'm going over today is i'm doing an unboxing on my new frog rod now if you haven't watched the video where I broke my last frog rod, I'm going to link it in the description below because it really hurt my feelings. I was fishing a Millican uh, tournament, a uh, link tournament that he was putting on, Slaunch, Ma Slaunch Master Scramble tournament, and I broke my frog rod, my beloved frog rod. It was a Vexan 7.3 medium heavy. And this thing just had the exact action that I love for working my frog, open water frog. And it was a great rod. I, I had it like five or six years. And I caught probably, I mean, well over a thousand fish on it, maybe even 1,500. Um, some of you may think that's an exaggeration, but I promise you it is not. Um, but caught a lot of fish on this rod, won some money with this rod too. But it broke on me, it exploded. Uh, when I caught a three and a half pounder in that tournament and I was kind of, they don't make it anymore basically is, is what I'm getting at. So I was kind of in a little bit of a debacle trying to figure out what rod I was going to get, what rod may have a similar action to this rod because this was a, on the lighter side, I would say of a medium heavy and the rod had a really parabolic action and it bowed deep in the middle of the rod as opposed to to more towards the tip. So had a very unique action and I just could I just didn't have anything else that really compared to it. So I racked my brain and tried to think of what I could order. I talked to some custom rod builders about building me one. Everybody was so backlogged and backed up. You know, they were like 30, 35 rods behind, two to three months. I don't have that kind of time to wait for a rod as much as I fish and especially as much as I throw a frog and of course, frog season is upon us. So I racked my brain and finally I came to the conclusion that I had a couple rods that I used for a different application, but I thought it would work very well for the frog and had kind of that parabolic action that I was looking for without being too light. So I ordered one and I just got it in today and I'm gonna do an unboxing, I'm gonna pull it out. I was a little worried because USPS brought this thing, uh, well delivered it, and I actually had to go there and pick it up. But believe it or not, it was shipped in a PVC tube, so I didn't have to worry about it being broken. Best I can tell, it's in a two inch piece of PVC tubing, uh, taped on both ends, so hopefully it is in good shape. I ordered this rod off of eBay. I uh, normally get everything uh, from Tackle Warehouse, but I ordered this rod off eBay. I could get it here quicker that way, so here we go. We're going to pull this thing out. I haven't looked at it yet. I want to take a look at it. I'm excited to see what I got. And hopefully it's in good shape. So I did go ahead and cut the end so I could get this off so that it wouldn't take forever. So let's get got that off. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Some of y'all probably can already tell. So it looks to be in good shape. Nothing looks busted up. Let's see, it's taped up pretty good. I'll give it to whoever, the people I bought it from. It's very well taped up. Well, anyway, what I got is a Ducket Green Ghost 7.3 medium heavy. So I'm gonna get this, all this stuff off of it and uh, we're going to go over the rod and look at it. I'm going to check the guides out and make sure everything's in good order. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this off and I'll see y'all after that. All right, there we go. Get it off of there. All right, so let's check the guides out. I like that. It has double footed guides up to the fourth guide. It does have the uh, stainless steel guides on it like all the other ghost rods do. And the reason I got this rod, I have two seven foot medium heavy ghosts, the original ghost that I really like for flipping because I set the hook really hard 
and I flip with copolymer and I do tend to break the line on my hook sets. That's why I don't use full carbon at all, but it has a good deep parabolic bend to it when I set the hook. So I don't really break the line quite as much. So that kind of got me leaning towards the ducats. And I believe this rod is going to be about the same. The rod is light. All the guys look to be in good order. All the wraps around the guides look good. Good thick wraps. All right, so like I said, double footed guides up to the fourth, so that's nice. I do like the uh, reel seat on this rod. Very nice looking reel seat there. That lime green, which I love lime green, and it has the wind grip. The wind tight grip on it as well. It says ducket fishing on it. Really nice. That feels feels really good. This rod is really light. Ducket rods are really light. That's one thing that I love about them. So I'm gonna see basically what I'm gonna do. The way I check, like if I'm in a store or anything like that, and I want to check how parabolic a rod is, basically what you do is you lay it on the ground or on the floor, standing up with the guides facing upward. And you want to take the rod and you want to push down on the rod like that without, you know, without putting too much pressure. And when you bend it like that, you can see mainly where the rod bends. If you have a, a rod that bends, you know, very much in the tip, if you have a rod that loads up kind of in the middle of the rod, this rod here is bending right about in, in here when I'm pushing it down, when I'm from the, so you want to take it, put the tip, you want to hold right here where the reel is going to be, and you want to press down. You want to press down. So it's loading up so much, a little bit right in here, up in here, not right at the tip. A lot of rods are very stiff up to the tip, and then only the tip is flexible. This rod has a lot of bend in back up towards the middle, which I really like. And I like that for a frog. For one, you can work a frog better with a rod that has some tip to it and, a, and some flex. You can really walk that frog and work that frog a lot better than a really stiff rod. Some, if you're fishing slop or something like that, of course you have to use a really, really stiff seven, six heavy action rod. But I do a lot of open water frog fishing. You know, light cover, light pads, uh, light wood, vegetation. That's when this rod comes into play. I have my other rod, heavier rod, my Falcon, that I throw it on in hydrilla and, uh, in the, in this, or heavy pads. And this rod may be good enough for that as well. I, I have to use it to find out. But I can already tell it's got a lot, a lot more tip to it than that rod. It has the typical ducket action where it's more parabolic and it loads up in the middle. You know, they tend to be on the lighter side. Like I said, this is a 7.3 medium heavy, 7.3 medium heavy. And my last rod I broke was a 7.3. And this is, this is, this, I think this is going to be a great frog rod for me. I think I made a good choice just with the action and, you know, the way the rod is going to load up when the fish bites it. Another thing when frog fishing is that makes it so important to have the right rod is as much as I fish a frog, and I probably fish a frog, I mean, more than anybody I know, actually, probably, but any, yeah, but I, I love fishing a frog. It's a technique that I've, you know, gotten pretty good at and I can use it and have a lot of confidence in it. But when the fish blows up on it, no matter how much you fish top water, it's hard not to set the hook immediately. So having a rod that's a little bit lighter and more parabolic, just that little bit more time it lets that fish have it before that rod loads up can be all the difference in the world. And I tend to like a rod that has more flex to it so when he blows up and when I go to load into him, that rod is a little bit slower. So I kind of load more back in here as opposed to sticking him right here where he may not have it quite as good. So. I really feel good about my choice. I'm going to fish with this thing, and I'm going to let y'all know what I think after I fish with it and see how it feels. But I'm really liking the grip. I'm liking the reel seat. I like the length of the butt. 
for the casting. Should be nice and accurate. And I really like the action. I like the, the tip of the rod, the parabolic action where it loads deep into the rod. I really like that with ducats. That's why I made this choice. So let me know what you fish your frog on, whether you like throwing a frog on a lighter, a little bit lighter rod like I do for open water applications. If you only throw it on one rod, you let me know, you know, let me know what you use and let me know what you think. If you got a green ghost and you used it for a while, let me know what you think about it. Hit it down in the comment section and let me know. So anyway, that's the rod I picked. Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all next time on Gunfish TV.